Welcome back to All Things 80s. And now as we continue the series of opening, reviewing, playing with the Knickerbocker Dukes of Hazard toys, we're on to the next one, number three. This is the Finger Racers Crash Car. Now this was a toy I never had. I don't think I was aware of this toy as a child. Um, it was just from doing some research for the ones that I do remember that this came up. Um, quite an interesting uh, idea, similar to the wrist racer, except this time it's a finger racer. And this one attaches to your finger and uh, it just has on, on the back here some simple instructions. Lock car into position, aim at target, press ejection button and watch them crash. And I believe this will actually come apart upon impact. Um, like I said, never never had this before. Uh, I do see this one is, uh, is stamped 1981. So anyway, let's get this thing opened and see how it does. Uh, and this, you know, I'm, I'm, as I say in all these videos, I'm trying to be somewhat careful. Uh, you know, as a child, these things were ripped open in seconds and the, the packaging discarded. This time I'm trying to keep it as intact as possible. Okay, there we go. There we are, not too bad. So anyway, put that there. So this car is really small and I'm assuming that... Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a very, very simple mechanism whereby when the uh, front bumper is depressed it just sends the top of the car uh, flying off and that yeah that's it back on this car is tiny uh, for comparison here is the uh, wrist racers General Lee which is quite a bit bigger and yeah this thing is quite sensitive it really does uh, come apart rather easily I must yeah as I thought it's a it's a spring-loaded mechanism, so I'm assuming... I will actually read this first. It doesn't even tell you, it just... Okay, so this goes on this... Oh, gee, barely fits onto my finger. And you would slide it back. There we go. Couldn't be easier. And it clips in place. You know what? Like so. And then, I guess you just press down, so... Let's see this one go. Whoa! That is fast. Okay, I'm back again. Uh, that was extremely fast. Was not expecting it to be quite so fast. Um, now this time I'm going to try and have it smash into the box of this uh, Dukes of Hazard Stunt Busters to try and see the effect of the uh, separation. So here we go again. And it didn't separate. Huh. Very, very fast. You know what, it's actually, it could well be the fact that I'm not able to, I'm going to take this off, okay, and do it like this, maybe, hold it like so, oh, there we go, perfect separation, so that was how that one worked, uh, that's pretty cool, actually, uh, I would have, I would have enjoyed this as a child, for sure, uh, not quite sure how to get this back together, oh, there, like this, up, oh, clip on, do that again, that was good. Uh, yeah, not bad. Certainly, um, as a young lad, was always looking for cars that were either fast or did a trick. Uh, you know, simple matchbox cars uh, probably were nice to look at. Were not a great deal of fun to play with, given you know, given their limitations in as far as they basically could be pushed along. Uh, these, however, are pretty exciting to to, to, uh, to play with. And even by modern standards, this is this thing comes out like a rocket. One more. Wow, okay. Excellent, excellent toy. Would very much have liked this as a child. Um, like I said, I don't recall ever seeing them. Uh, maybe it was an American thing only, I have no idea, but certainly uh, 
as I play, as I play with this in 2019, I am very, very impressed with it. Oh, still can't quite figure out how to put this other, put it back together, uh, like so. Yeah, so this was, this was the Knickerbocker, the Dukes of Hazard finger racer crash car. So yeah, excellent toy, excellent toy. Uh, if you happen to see one of these for sale, I would, I would absolutely recommend one of these, adding it to your collection. And if, even if you're not a collector, it's just fun to go back to the, back to the childhood and experience things you didn't get to experience back then. So anyway, that was the end of part three of the Knickerbocker Dukes of Hazard series. Hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. So please do like, please subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.